Hi, I'm Carrie Sherburn, Senior Editor at What They Think, and I'm here with Rob, Rob Redinger, who is the President and CEO of Pinnacle Data Systems in Georgia. That's Welcome. right. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to have you. So um, maybe you could start by telling us a little bit about Pinnacle, uh, you know, how long you've been in business, how many employees, that kind of thing. Yep. So Pinnacle is a, a, a transaction mail outsourcer, mm -hmm. business process outsourcing is what we like to call it. We've been in business for 15 years, mm -hmm. uh, 225 employees. Wow. Uh, with three locations uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, Alabama, Phoenix, Arizona, and actually our fourth location, which we just opened, is Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Oh, terrific. Wow, we'll have to talk about that a little bit Absolutely, later. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, in, in terms of the production platform, do, is, do you have a consistent platform across all the locations? We do. We call it distributed print, and it's okay. uh, all three sites are connected and, and uh, interchangeable. And so what, what do you have? What equipment do you have? We have uh, quite a bit of equipment from Canada's Delicious America. Mm -hmm. We have uh, equipment from several other vendors, mm -hmm. a total of about 40 printers in our total fleet. And are they all web fed? They are not. We do uh, quite a bit of cut sheet and mm -hmm. quite a bit of web fed, both mm -hmm. uh, continuous feed inkjet, continuous feed monochrome, full color cut sheet, and monochrome cut sheet. So and we do everything. And what would you say is the, the breakout between color and black and white? Uh, we probably do about 40% color today. Oh, that's great. Yep. That's great. That's Up uh, from, from zero, maybe four years ago. So, yeah. <laughs> and so, obviously, you've got a lot of experience with a lot of the suppliers to the industry. What did you find attractive about Canon Solutions America? Uh, Canon Solutions America has been a great partner for us. We started three years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we were just getting into Inkjet. We chose them for our first production platform. Um, we certainly had some challenges getting into Inkjet, but they got us through the process and uh, kind of helped us uh, get our feet wet and get up and going. And uh, since then, we put in a second platform and uh, uh, bought some other equipment from them as well. So they've been a, an excellent partner for us. So before you had WebFed toner. Then. We did, yes, from a different vendor. Monochrome. That's right. Okay. And so why, why did you decide to go to the full color? Actually, the, the vendor we were working with had chosen to take a different path and had not gone to Inkjet. So mm -hmm. we, we made the decision with Canon. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I haven't looked back. And um, but inkjet in particular, what was what was attractive about the production inkjet? Cost. We're a transaction mail printer, so okay. obviously, so cost, cost is extremely important yeah. to us. Yeah. And uh, you know, toner-based solutions, especially in cut sheet, our customers just weren't willing to pay for that. So. Um, the inkjet really got us into color. It was the only platform out there that, that, that could satisfy our customers' needs mm -hmm. at, a, at a price that uh, they were willing to pay. And 40% color is very high in your industry. It is. So what, what are the kinds of applications that, that are driving the color? Yep, so our business case for getting into two inkjet was mm -hmm. strictly a production case. Mm -hmm. We had over 300 stock keeping units in pre-printed forms. Oh, wow. And a, uh, over 100,000 square feet of warehouse uh -huh. that we, uh, we wanted to get rid of. And uh, aside from that, we also had about 10 cut sheet highlight color printers, a technology that's been around for, for a lot of years. A lot of and, years, yeah. And it was really at the end of its life then, it's certainly there now. And so we built our entire business case strictly on a, a lean manufacturing production efficiency mm -hmm. um, scenario. Okay, so it's primarily replacing the, pre the preprint. That's then. right. Okay, and are you finding, are you finding people uh, starting to incorporate color now in the body of the transaction? Is it more what we like to call, we don't like to call trans promo, or is it more, you know, highlighting uh, in critical data? Where, where do you see the color going in the document? No, absolutely. We, we, we certainly see, uh, you know, a, a shift from what we used to call traditional inserts, mm -hmm. marketing inserts in the envelope to onserts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've done very well upselling that to our customers. It's been a value add for us and a value add for our customers, we think, because we can use the data to drive a more targeted message. Okay. And we are seeing that. It's, it's been a little slow for adoption, but, but we're, we're definitely getting some traction. That's, that's terrific. And sort of what do you see next coming? You know, I, I think what we'll do more with data-driven analytics. Okay. We'll, we'll certainly uh, work much harder at using the data more efficiently mm -hmm. and uh, using the white space on the paper more efficiently. And, uh, you know, in this business, it's all about driving at cost. So we have to get more and more efficient on the plant floor. And Inkjet is a big driver for that for us. That's terrific. Thank you so much. Thank you.